What's up, guys? Void here coming back at y'all with yet another Commander Must Have video. As always, we look at one of the newer sets, and I take one card that I feel just has to be in your Commander card pool. Whenever you look to build a new deck, you should consider these cards. They're pretty awesome. Now, I'm not going to lie, this card isn't going to just blow your mind. It's not overwhelmingly powerful, and it's not even going to see play in as many decks as it possibly can. It's very narrow in what it is capable of doing, but it's a pretty good card when you consider the synergies between the different commanders that it can play in. Now the card I'm talking about is Dire Fleet Ravager, a five mana black 4-4 orc pirate wizard. It is a mythic, so right off the bat, I'm just gonna tell you its price on TCG Player as of today is 60 cents. The foil is gonna go for about $4. Pre-release version, gonna go for around 5 to $6. So, it's incredibly cheap for what it is. It is a mythic, and a lot of people would categorize this as a bulk mythic. It's not overwhelmingly powerful, and it doesn't fit into a lot of decks, but it fits into enough decks, is what I'm trying to say here. So, he has Menace and Death Touch, and when he enters the battlefield, each player loses a third of his or her life rounded up which is really deadly in certain decks and can definitely be taken advantage of. Pair this up with something like a Wound Reflection, and suddenly you're just taking a whole bunch of life away from your opponents. It is just a third, which may not seem like a lot, and a lot of people looking at this card would look at that and say, well, there's certain cards that can half opponents' life totals. This just takes a third off. So if we go off of starting life totals in Commander, that's 40, and a third of 40 is about 13.33333, something like that, which is still a lot of life. And granted, every single player has to lose that life, not just your opponents, is also a downside. But when you look at the commander options that this can fit in, you start to realize, oh, well, there's a reason why. So we're going to start off with the most obvious synergy, and that is going to be with Admiral Beckett Brass, who is the pirate commander. Now, the main reason why you would want Admiral Beckett Brass as your commander with Dire Fleet as one of the 99 is probably because the entire deck is meant to make it to where your pirates are capable of attacking without much hindrance. You don't want there being blockers, and having Menace and Death Touch is incredibly difficult to block. You need some decent blockers in order to really stand a chance against this guy. So that's a synergy right there. However, Admiral Beckett Brass is really not that great of a commander, at least not competitive. So if you want to go that route, I would highly suggest you take a look at Rivals of Ixalan, see what support we're going to get from there, and then come to a conclusion of what type of deck you want to make if you want to go with pirates. The main commander synergies I want to bring up here are Rakdos, Lord of Riots, and Karavek the Merciless, both of which are pretty good at punishing your opponents while at the same time giving yourself the advantage or at least sparing yourself some of that damage or life loss or whatever you're going to be doing. Karavek is more or less just going to punish your opponents whenever they cast spells. You can then either kill off creatures or they're going to lose a lot of life. Pretty good commander for that reason. And the lower you get their life totals, the better all of that stuff is going to be. So Dire Fleet is going to take a third of their life away, making it easier for your burn spells, as well as just Karavek getting in there, making it easier to just kill off your opponents. So very cool commander option there. Rakdos Lord of Riots. It's all about cost reduction and a very common build for Rakdos is going to be Eldrazi because all that does is just get you insane cost reduction it just does it for generic mana so so that's the only real downside there is that it has to kind of be the Eldrazi synergy because that's a lot of life that's a lot of cost reduction you're going to be getting off of Dire Fleet Ravager but that's exactly what you want in a deck like this you want nothing but cost reduction and you're also capable of then casting Rakdos Lord of Riots because that's the only downside to that commander is that if you have no way of forcing your opponents to lose life then you can't cast him but two very obvious synergies as far as commanders go with this card but there is one more that I have to bring up before I end this video and it is a very funny synergy and that is Inala Archmage Ritualist because not only is he an orc pirate, he's also an orc pirate wizard, which is very important because Anala also synergizes with wizards that entered the battlefield. Whenever they enter the battlefield, you can pay one generic and then make a copy of that creature. So you get another Dire Fleet Ravager 
it gains haste so you're going to have a menace death touch for four with haste and you also just took away a third of their life total not just once but twice and i'm not going to bother to do that math from starting life total that's you know a third and then you third that most of the time your opponents aren't going to be at starting life totals anyway but you can get where i'm going here with that deck you are also capable of then flickering it also making it easier to get your opponent's life totals yeah it does do it for your own life total but you're more importantly getting the dire fleet ravager haste token so you're capable of then swinging with a 4-4 with menace as well so it's impossible to really see how this card doesn't synergize well with this specific commander i mean a pirate wizard it's meant to synergize with both pirates and wizards i think that's pretty obvious when they were planning these different cards i don't know if it was intentional or not but an etb that basically thirds everyone's life total takes it away that's a pretty funny synergy overall though i'm not gonna lie to you guys he is pretty risky the fact that he also thirds your own life and most people are gonna look at that as a huge deterrent to play him but still a pretty cool option and you also have to consider the fact that he's still super cheap as a mythic pretty much a bulk mythic to everyone who's opened up ixalan a lot of people are overlooking it 60 cents for a card like this that can open a game up for you that's pretty good is it the best card value wise that you could put in for the money maybe not from ixalan but it's definitely one of the better cards that you can pick up that's not even going to really affect your wallet whatsoever that's pretty good and the foil super cheap for a mythic so anyway guys that's going to do it for this video this commander must have video hope you enjoyed it hope if you have dire fleet ravager or you have a bunch of them that you now consider their playability to me just everything the cost of the actual card itself the good keywords the good etb the creature type very cool all around i think it's going to have a presence if not now definitely in the future if we get more commander decks that synergize with players losing life stuff like that so anyway you guys have a wonderful day void here signing off